everybody. Welcome to my weird, wonderful world. Hopefully you'll be able to hear me properly. And I'm trying to light the place as much as I can. But here I am about to try to fix my, my art table. Now, I'm hoping this won't take me more than an hour to do. But we'll see. I'm, I'm prepared. I only have maybe about an hour of sunlight left out there anyway. So, yeah. And I kind of want to get it done. Now, of course, I got... I'm going to be mostly on the floor for this for you guys. So here I got the drill from Walmart. I bought the screws that I need. Now I have the I have the thing to take off the screws. Now to show you what's wrong with the uh, the table is that the, from it's off of the wood right here. And I'll show you better when I take it off that. Right under here, as you can see, it's not, that should be connected, but it's not connected. Because the, the whole, yeah, the whole thing is pretty, pretty bad. So, once I take this board off, I'm just going to rotate everything, which, which means I have to drill all new holes in everywhere for all the screws. But yeah, I got the screws, I got the washers. Oops, what? Kind of spilled some of the washes, but it doesn't matter. I can keep them there for now and pick them up after. So, yep. So, the little screws that I need. I got the. I got. So I gotta try to figure out what drill bit to use for the for the screws, because you don't want it to be too big and you don't want it to be too small. So, here's are the. Here are the drill bits. Try to get that, keep that in the light, and then the screw. I thought, I thought maybe at first with the third one here, but I think that would be a little too thick. So I'm going to go down to this one here. I think that would be just the right, because you don't want it to be thicker than the actual screw. So that's what I'm going to be doing. But first, I need to take it off the table. Now yep, let's get to it. So, I only have one more screw here to unscrew. Yeah, okay. Now, now I already had unscrewed one of the screws here because they were loose already. So, so, I only have the two back here to unscrew. Then I gotta carefully take it off. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, maybe that's not the right size. I want to have to... I'll be back in a second there. I might have to up the size on that. Let's see. Okay, maybe that's... Well, that's why, maybe. Wait, let me see. So... I need to go to the next one. Probably. Let's try that. Oh, okay. I'm going to probably lower the camera since I'm on the floor now. There we go. There, you can see me a little bit better what I'm doing. See, I don't have any problems with the base at all. The base is perfect. It's, it's all just to do with this corner here, connect. The connection to the uh, to the board so yeah hopefully I can take that off now it's the right size for it that one's on there I'm gonna have to get underneath and see what's going on do I have even the right uh, bit for that uh, now no I can't see Right? It's kind of dark. So I got my little bicycle light, my little light off of my bicycle, and boop. There we go. Shining that right in there. <laughs> now I'm going to use that to light it up so I can see what's going on and try not to hit my head on the bar there. And is that because I'm using a wrong. Oh, wow. Okay, that is wrong. Oh, I don't think I have that shape of a screwdriver. 
Let's see. Oh no. I might not have a a bit to uh, fit that because it's a hexagon shape, and I'm not, I don't have anything here that's hexagon shape to take that to take that off. That's kind of yeah. I don't, I'm not sure what to do. Uh, that's right. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm kind of at a at a loss. I didn't. I I thought they would all be the same kind of bit, bit as that. So I can't replace those. I have to use those ones. That's why it wasn't coming off. It wasn't fitting in there. I mean. Let me regroup and think about this for a second. I was like wondering why it wasn't catching on to it. Uh, will that, will that fit? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it anyway. It's not the right bit that I need for that, but hopefully it will, it will work anyway. Put this in my mouth so I'm not gonna be talking. the next bigger bit maybe just, just hoping it catches and, and, and screws off because that's going to be uh, be kind of difficult to deal with oh. I might have an allen key for that but I don't know equipment to get that off unfortunately <sighs> okay I got I have to think about this maybe screw it off of that side but that's gonna be the same idea I'm all like very carefully because I just yeah it's not because nothing is screwed up what's supposed to happen is I supposed to be able to lift this up like this but there's nothing to hold it up right now, so I'm just checking that, make sure it's oh, okay, that's weird. Now I have to hold it see or everything will fall. Alright, so let's put it back on. was a bit of an ordeal. Yeah. Stick that up so it doesn't uh, topple over. So yeah, I'm not sure what to do with that. Unfortunately. Kind of, yeah, kind of bumming me out. Because I took off those screws and not really any way I can 
repair it with that, like that. I don't know how to get those bolts out. Because I don't have the bit, I don't have the, uh, yeah, I don't have the bit for it. I thought I would, but unless, uh, I'm going to, one last, one last little effort. I'm going to see if this might not work. I doubt it. Might just break it. Okay. Gotta take it slow and easy. Oh, that's too small. That's not gonna work. Put the next highest there. It has to be a little snug in there so that it doesn't move when I turn it. Okay. It worked! Ha! Ah, it worked! Excellent, excellent, excellent. Kind of got itself stuck in there now, but that's fine. At least it's off. Alright, uh, how am I going to get that off? Yeah, that's pretty, uh, Hopefully you can see that there is pretty tight on to it. All right, just give me a. Wow. Oh, there we go. I got unstuck. Oh yeah, it didn't break it at all. That's good, perfect. So put that bolt aside. So yeah, I found a way to get it off. And I thought I was stuck there for for a moment, but I'm not. I'll use that tray for that. Yeah, there we go. And then take this one off. Yeah. We're in, we're, we're doing it now. Now, okay, a little backstory about the table. This was actually salvaged from a dumpster because besides one little flaw, there was nothing really wrong with it. And okay, now that it's off completely, I can take the table off completely. Now, yeah, okay. Here's this top part here is the bottom of the... So you can see, uh, I'll show you with this side here. The side was already kind of brust, busted, but I thought, okay, if I just moved everything up, I, I made some new holes, but the holes are kind of too big, and the, and yeah, it doesn't really want to stay. That was a, uh, yeah, that was the side that was broken already, and then and you see how how weak it is. So old holes. They were still fine, they were still fastened, but no, I, I made some new holes, but the thing is, I screwed the screw in there directly and I didn't drill a pre-hole first on it, so that's the reason why it, it, it just didn't want to, just didn't want to work. So, yeah, I'm going to be, uh, so here's the plan. Now that I got this off, okay, everything that's on this side here, Oh wow, okay, no, that, that might make a little problem. Uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, expect that to be a problem. But yeah, see these here, these, uh, yeah. So, I, I'm not sure what to do. Because I can't really put new holes here on this side. There's not really much room, and I can't, uh, yeah, actually I can't just, let me lift that up here. Yeah, these two here, they're already kind of pre, yeah, you're not seeing that properly. Let me try to get that closer. Can you, can you see that? There's already like a screw thing plugged in there in the first place. 
So that's what's me. Yeah, yeah. There's no way I can replicate that on this side where I need to because I was going to mirror everything. I like just turn it one one hundred. Yeah, or like one eighty degrees, and put everything on like like these holes here would be on this side, and and so on and so forth. I was going to I was going to take I was going to take this piece off, and. So yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, that kind of stops me right there. I'm just going to stick this to the side for now. I got all the drill and all the screws and everything for this. But I wasn't really expecting that to be like that. I didn't expect these screws here, these two in particular, to be... Yeah. Now, do, do I start a third one? Because it, it, it won't be it won't be lined up with the like where it's supposed to be But I I mean I could move them again But like about an inch and just about maybe a Maybe three-fourths three-fourths of an inch away from the holes and when I do my drilling in it then it might secure it just enough so that I can put, I can still kind of use, yeah, I have to put that back on where it was before. Drill two new holes and then, yeah, hopefully it will fit. I'm just going to just check something out here. Ah, stick this aside. Yeah. So. Get that down like that. I mean, it was already like down because it's not supposed to be down like that. It's supposed to be up like this a little bit when everything is down. And then when you bring it up, it locks it in place so you can have your board this way. So yeah. So I don't know if the, will that uh, will that extra little inch half of like make a difference or not so it's spring loaded so it doesn't it, it has to spring open but yeah I'm at a I'm at a loss for a moment there what to do next because I wasn't expecting that to be a problem that's kind of the way things go sometimes eh? you just you prepare as best as you can, but then as you go, you just encounter those little problems that just makes it a little bit frustrating. Because I really wanted to fix this today for you guys. I really did. And now it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. Oh, what to do, what to do. Because, yeah. Okay, I'm going to just see anyway. I'm going to... I want to measure out uh, at the right angle there and yeah so I'll lean this up against this for now so you guys can sort of see what I'm trying to do here uh, I'll be that I do have my tape measure but I rather use a ruler measure my little silver measuring ruler to so that was our eight in, uh, yeah eight centimeters in and should I bring it out to uh, 10 centimeters will that two centimeter difference will that be far enough away that it doesn't affect each other <sighs> yeah yeah uh, I mean, that's where I'm kind of stuck at doing there. Instead of turning everything around, well, it's going to it's going to prevent me a lot less work because if I don't have to replace this part on the side and these uh these little little drawer stuff and and everything, that might be 
might be better for me. So I'm going to measure out right from the edge, eight centimeters. Line up the holes because I know they were pretty straight to begin with. I'm actually really good at measuring by eye, so, but yeah, need the ruler, just keep everything straight. Alright, so, first hole, first hole, alright, hopefully you guys can see that properly, I gotta get in up there for a minute, and then, Right there, and then another line up the two holes, and then so the I don't the, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Yeah, no, but there's two dots that I I drew right there, so I can start drilling drilling holes in that. I'm going to go and do the other side now. Yeah, up against that. Uh, I, I don't know if this is, if this is ex, as exciting as I would like it to be. But, yeah. So, line up the two holes as best as I can. And then mark it. Boom. Now again, making sure it's exactly 10 centimeters from the edge. Line up the holes. That looks right to me. Yeah. Now just to double check and see if that's. So the holes are exactly 2 centimeters apart. And that's exactly what I dotted. Yeah, two centimeters apart, and yep, yep, it, it's pretty, pretty dead on. I'm sure that's gonna, that's gonna fit perfect. So now I'm gonna put the proper drill bit on there. That's the first time I'm ever using the drill on this. Well, to make a hole, that is. I'm gonna go from from left to right, and hopefully, uh, yeah, that should be a, that should be well enough right there. And now, and. It's working. It's a little bit of a slower process, but that's fine. I'm not. I don't want to put too much pressure to it. I don't want to force it. I just want it to let it ease on in there. Well, that's a start. Didn't get in there too far because I think I have to. I'm, I'm trying to get through the first layer first. Oh, there we go. tell how far I'm going in. I'm sorry, this might be the boring and tedious part, me drilling holes. Oh, that went in there pretty far. Okay, that might be just enough that I need. Oh, did I go all the way through? Hope not. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, I actually drilled right all the way through the table, which is not a good thing. Yeah, I was, I was, I should have stopped when I when I thought it was like maybe deep enough. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna have. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try not to go that deep again. Well, good thing you guys were here to see me make mistakes. But the drill is working, it's just that it needs a tender loving care. Yeah, I have a good idea how far to go. can go without uh, poking the other side so yeah that's one side done time to get to the other side and then yeah actually surprised at how well this drill's working though. Yeah, yeah, it's working better than I was expecting. There we go. going to screw the screw in there just to kind of give it that initial start and plus I want to make sure that it goes in well so I'm going to test at least one to make sure I'll put the washer with it too so first time for the bit and yeah gonna work I'm hoping it's gonna work yeah I might as well try putting the other one into you want it with the washer because I don't want it to be too much just before it gets tight tight Should I try hmm, putting that back on first and then yeah yeah probably yeah yeah 
I think so. I think that's what I'm going to be doing next. Oh. So, half an hour so far, and not going as I had planned, but it's all good. Now. wants to keep on all right uh, so putting this up here just like that first got that in my hand down so I can basically attaching that back on, bring it right all the way back, yeah, turn, make sure this is turned the right side up, and then start lining up the, uh, okay, over here, so I'm putting that back on where it was before, basically, okay, Get that back on. Wine. Yeah, it's just a matter of winding that up. <sighs> yeah. that far but we'll see. problem is the problem is this bar can only go down so far in the middle don't know if you can see that so shine some light yeah that bar right here can't see that from that angle but yeah this that bar right there <sighs> because if I try to put it down where the and try to screw it in where it, yeah, it's gonna lift up too much unless I try to unless I always keep it up rather than on the down position so Cause it doesn't seem to want to go that far because it wants to yeah it wants to be raised and yeah <laughs> that might be a problem oh gosh if it's not one thing it's something else oh, unless there's something I can do with those other pre pre holes don't seem to fasten that tight and these won't cut it yeah I'm not sure what um, how I'm gonna fix that properly it might be a little too far over now yeah 
I had it just at the right kind of the limit there. Because it should be up, because it should be up like that where it originally was. But I can't put it there. Somewhat lined up there. That's at a bad angle. Unless, and yeah, unless, give me a moment there. I find a way to, to prop that up to where it's supposed to be. Um, I'll be right back. seem to have anything to use for that right at the moment that I can think of. Just give me a um that I was saving for a special occasion. It, it just says happy birthday on it there and it just it has a magnet on it and it opens. It's, it makes a cool little box. Um, I want to save these so one day that I might be able to give somebody something cool in them. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I need to, I need to prop the back part up this. Prop it up a little higher. So I, I put one on both sides. I should give it just just the proper height that I need to it line up those lines. And then and then when I because I'm always going to use it on a like going up. I'm never going to lay it down because I don't ever need to. So yeah. Okay. Let's see if that lines up now a little bit better. All right. Oh wow, it actually kind of does. Yeah, that's what I needed. So that when I put that in there, oh, I just lost the bowl. But yeah, it's actually lined right up with that. Okay, where are you? This one. I'm digging it. And did I put the washer with that? No, I did not. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm gonna stick and I'm gonna stick the other one on the other side with the washer and then I gotta take that other one out and put the washer back on it. Yeah, okay. Stick a washer on it. I know you guys can't see me very well under here. I apologize for that. But you're seeing me do the necessary parts right here. I said I was going to document the whole thing and I meant it. Trying to come up with solutions. And okay. I got one of them on. So far, so good. All right, okay. get these ready. So instead of having to undrill all the rest of this stuff here, I just had to drill two, two new holes. Hopefully this will stay and doesn't get loose again. Just don't put a lot of pressure on it. That's the trick, you know? I'm scooting over so I can get under the right position. All right, now. Okay. Oh. All right, all right, all right, I hear ya. So, once I get that lined up, I need something to prop up that other side again. Okay. Yeah, because they both fell out, but that's okay. All right, so prop up the other side. Put both boxes underneath. Just has to be just long enough. Just long enough for me to, to get that on there. good and then the last one here and then I should have a decent working table not maybe not completely the way I want it but not too bad uh, yep that seems solid all right, I'm back. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so now that it's all on, like it's all fastened, here's the test. Now I should, I should be able to, to bring it up and this is at maximum. Okay, you can't tilt any more than that, so. This is pretty much where I would need to keep it most often. So when I'm now, when I'm doing my, uh, my tutorials, which is hopefully within the next couple of weeks, is that ideal? And so that's where I drilled out that extra hole, but went a little too far, but it's it's fine. It won't be impeding my. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's gonna be just fine. I'm right-handed, so I would sit on the left side here and then draw. Make sure that the camera is a little higher up so that let's okay let's prop this up a little bit 
But when I mean higher up, I mean higher up pointing down towards the, uh, the board. Uh, I'll figure out a way to set that up somehow so, I, so that you guys can see everything a little bit more properly. But this should be fine. It's not as close as I would like it, or it depends. Okay, wait, let's try something. I want to move the microphone over here. I'm going to move this whole chair rig over, 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 over. Now, if I was right here. Lay that down. Doesn't matter if my head's being cut off because I can always kind of lean down. Or, let's see. At the... Yeah, see the angle is not the best, but I still might be able to bring it up as much, like as much as I can, like that, for one of my presentations. Does that make it? No, no, it's actually still pretty secure. But when I need to draw something, I would have to, yeah, be careful with it. And because this is at maximum height, but still, it's balanced. It wants to go forward a little bit. Hmm. So yeah, okay. That's at the next one, and that's pretty sturdy. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do. Not ideal. Probably be ideal if I had a, a like a brand new desk one of these days. But for the moment, this this will work. This will do it for me. Let's uh, change the lighting. Uh, scheme and see if that helps. Like bring this light over a little bit. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's all about bringing that camera up to up here, maybe like that. But I had the camera kind of pointing down towards. Uh, I'll figure out some sort of rig for that. Yeah, I'm sure I can find something that will accommod accommodate that. And then I'm in business. I'll be starting to make some uh, some drawing videos. But it'll have to be during the day. You'll have, yeah, yeah. I can show you some tricks in that. I think so. I think that would be the trick, yep. So that's it for me for this episode. I got it fixed, well, as best as I could. Wasn't ex wasn't what I planned on doing or how I planned on doing. I'm gonna raise that up a little bit. There you go. Yeah, wasn't exactly how I planned on doing it, but it's solid enough that I can actually start using this to draw. Yeah, as long as I keep that up or if I put it down, I don't. I can't put it down all the way from most of my, like most of the way down. At the lowest that I can really go on this. If I actually need to, is right that here. Just double checking everything, make sure everything is solid. Yeah, that looks solid to me. Nope, not even there. Just one more up, right there. That's as low as I can go, basically, for my drawing, which is actually still perfect for me. So yeah, no. Nope. It works. That's as uh, high as I can put it without uh, without it tipping over. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. And like I said, I'll find some sort of a, a contraption, contraption to be able to. Uh, yeah, and I'll figure out uh, a better place to put the microphone to, so you guys can hear me a little bit easier and better too. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm just gonna call it before it gets too long. I was expecting an hour to fix it and that's kind of what it took me, a little bit less. So yeah, here's the video for today, a nice long one for you of me fixing my my art table as best as I can. So uh, be sure that sometime hopefully this weekend I'm going to make a hot chicken video. At the latest it will be Monday, but I'm going to try for, I, I'm going to try for tomorrow. Yeah, I really do want to try to make the, my uh, my chicken cooking video tomorrow. I might have another video for you later tonight, a little short video. And yeah, I'm planning on making at least a couple of extra videos this weekend. 
And so yeah, I'm gonna let you go. So as always, please be safe, take care. I will see you on the flip side and please everyone have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace everybody. Uh -huh.